Tonight, we're hearing from survivors. WDBJ 7's Amanda Kenny brings us their stories. It looks more like a tornado went through here than it does a flood, just with all the destruction and the damage. It's almost hard to believe this was once Nick Glover's home. A slab of concrete is all that's left, so he's picking through debris to salvage what he can. I've tracked my stuff from where it stands all the way to the football field on the other side of town is where I finally found the roof. Across the street, Carol Mann's home is still standing, but he lost almost everything in the flood. It come so fast, didn't have time to do anything, save anything. We just got out. Now people are coming back with stories of survival. And she was hanging to a tree and they couldn't get to her, so they went to go get a bulldozer. And others are here to help. You guys, we have some water, we have some, some hot, hot dogs, dogs and some you water. Guys like something to eat. We're uh, cooking and grilling hot dogs and bringing water and food out. They can't get to us, so we're just trying to get to them. But it's not just the material things that have been lost. I'm just really upset and I'm just I'm lost. I just feel like I'm lost. You know, trying to, like I said, think where do you even begin and how am I going to rebuild to where I was before? How long is that going to take me? Glover's sense of security was washed away when his home was taken in the flood. In White Sulphur Springs, Amanda Kenny, WDBJ7.